Hey guys, Forever Zerone here today, and I'm going to show you how to kill five giant zombies in How to Survive Iron Man Story Mode. Warning, spoilers ahead. You are going to run into the first giant zombie on the starting island right after you get the engine starter from Andrew. The first thing you're going to want to do after getting the starter is prepare. If you can get fire arrows at this point, do so, and make as many as you can at this point. Uh, we are going to kill the first giant zombie with fire. After you have your arrows, test out your new toys on the local inhabitants. You'll note that after an arrow sticks into a target, it turns into just a regular arrow from before. This isn't a problem right now because gas is free. After you collect your arrows and remake the fire arrows you've used, start making your way towards the beach. Once you get to this area, you're about to do battle with your first giant zombie. It helps to clear out the zombies behind the giant rock formation before you go ahead and start fighting him. As you can see here, the first giant zombie will mostly just try to charge and run you down. When you see him lower his shoulders, uh, try to sprint perpendicular to his charge and you should avoid it completely. Just keep pegging him with the arrows and keep him on fire at all times and he should fall relatively quickly. This is probably going to be the longest giant zombie fight just due to the fact that you just don't have all the gear available to you in this game. Just keep shooting him while he chases you around the rock and hits the walls surrounding you until he falls down. Once again, this is going to be the longest giant zombie fight, so bear with me. Alrighty, now that that's over, we can get back on to the rest of the episode. Collect your arrows, and we're going to move on to giant zombie number two. You're going to find the second giant on Santa Barbara Island, right after the old lady on the beach is where he waits. By the time you reach this guy, you should have a stabilized carbon bow. You can get the carbon next to the little girl on the previous map, and the pulleys in the safe house closest to the ultralight where you landed on this one. And all you need for the stabilizer to attach to the bow is just an iron bar and a fork. You should have seen a few of them on your travels up to this point. This giant zombie is going to focus throwing the dead at you as opposed to charging you. Same plan as before, when you see the windup, just dash perpendicular and you should avoid any and all damage. You'll also note that with the compound bow, your arrows actually pass through the zombie and don't register as being stuck in the target. So, you get all your fire arrows back without having to make them again. And there's number two down. Small interim here. Before the third giant, you will get explosives. Use this opportunity to grab the flying bomb talent. It will let you turn one explosive into ten explosives, which is just as awesome as it sounds. Locked doors are no more. Wall in your way? No problem. Rampaging zombie deer? Rampaging zombie deer chunks. One thing to watch out for is that there is an explosive range, so you can blow yourself up if you're too careless. And now back to the show. You'll find the third giant down the hill right after talking to the pilot. Assuming you have explosive arrows and a good bow, this fight will be over very quickly. Very quickly. And we're done here. You will run into the fourth giant zombie right before the first safe house you cleared. And, well... <laughs> uh, that was fun. And now for the fifth and final zombie. This one is going to take a little bit of preparation. You should get as much raw meat as possible and make as much of it into bombs as you can afford. You are going to be assaulted by non-stop waves of the undead. And, during this time, you are going to still have to fight this giant effing zombie. So, just as soon as he comes out, 
throw either raw meat, Molotov meat, or explosive meat out to keep the little zombies at bay while you deal with the big guy. Just a few arrows to the head as before, but if the little guys get in front of you, you're going to knock yourself on your ass. Once that's over, congratulations. You just won the game. You're the big hero. That is assuming you can make it back to the plane alive, but details really. This has been Forever Zerone, and if you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.